How much longer till we reach the hunting grounds? Depends on what you call hunting grounds. We've had too many run-ins with the law not to follow it. I know you don't care for these new rules and regulations, but that's no reason not to abide. It's just that. Whatever happened to the freedom of a good hunt? Bears? Tigers? And lions, of course. Yes, exactly. The bigger the game, the greater the triumph. And now it's endangered this and conserved that. I'm sorry to have gotten you started, Rainsford. I know it's a sore subject for you. Ah, yes. You always enable my tangents, Whitney. Whitney, so of course you'll share the blame. Of course. All right. Time to check the equipment. I don't want Whitney stealing all the good hunts. Whoa! There's gotta be someone home. Oh, my name is Dr. George Rainsford. I'm a hunter from New York. I need a phone and some medical supplies. Do not mind my simple friend. He's a mute. Nice to meet you, Dr. Rainsford. I am General Solomon Zaroff. I've read your books on hunting lions in Africa. I love hearing about your experience. Uh, I respect your craft as a fellow hunter. Uh, well, I'm glad to have met you then, General. Please excuse my anxiousness to leave. I just need a phone and some bandages and then I'll be out of your hair. Rainsford, I understand your need, but I can assure you that there is no phones here. There's nothing but many miles of woods. We are surrounded. There has to be a trail. My colleagues, my friend, Whitney, he can't be far. I'm completely sure, but if you insist, you can search tomorrow. For now, I think you should stay here. Fine, I need a little rest anyway. It's been a long day, and being unconscious isn't exactly a full night's sleep. Of course. I will have my servant Ivy wake you up for dinner. Oh, of course. Is dinner ready? Good to see you, Dr. Rainsford. If you want me to bring you a plate, let me know. I'm fine. Although I could go for a cup of water or coffee. Water, I can do. Come with me to my partner. I must talk to you. Hunting is an exhilarating sport. Don't you agree? Well, of course. It's a great passion of mine, as you are right now. I've been hunting for 20 years. The more time passed, the bigger the game. The higher the stakes. Until I was practically a dead man every time I walked into a rhino's turf. I know the feeling. I've just barely left some hunt with my life as well. But yet, here I am. Victor, nonetheless. Yes, well, the human is the ultimate animal, you see. We are the apex predator. So with our intellect and our weapons, who is to say there is a being that can hunt a human? An interesting thought. I can't say there is a single animal that fits that description. Well, except... Except? Doctor, I've long been chasing a high, the high of the hunt, and the danger of it. I understand what you're saying for sure. I have found the alternative. What is the most dangerous game you can think of? Well, I want to say the lion, but panthers can be equally formidable. Incorrect. The game I'm describing can think for itself, critically, and attack a situation with ease and intent. After all, they have the greatest minds of the animal kingdom. You can't possibly mean. Why, of course, Doctor. Man is nothing but predator to man. With all due respect, that sounds like you're speaking of murdering a helpless man. Wild, but not helpless. It's not different from an animal in its own habitat. That's insane, General. Truly insane. If you excuse me, I need to leave. My friend's probably worried sick about me. I won't excuse you. The minute you set out to those woods, you become the game I have spoke of. You'll hunt me? I'm a man of my word. You're a madman. I'm going to call the authorities as soon as I get a hold of some civilization. You won't get very far, Ransford, but nevertheless, I'll give you a head start. The time has come! Oh my god, I'm lost. There's no direction. I don't know where I am.